Hello, everybody. Guess who I'm sitting here with? Listen, we're going to let some more people come in, right? Right. Did we tag you? I didn't tag you. If we didn't, I'll put it on my page, and you know they're going to go see it. Yeah. You know they're going to go look. Listen, guys, we're going to let some more people come on because we're yes. here. I am here with L.S. Wilson. Listen, I know you guys have heard me talk about her like so many times, right? Well, she's here in the flesh, and we're still here. Who wants to come live? Who is that that wants to come live? That is David, David Lee. Lee. Hi, David. Hi, David. How are you? Hi, Jetty. How are you guys? How are you guys? Hi, Sherry. Hey, Sherry. Sherry you should have been here with yes. us. You guys was... should have come to go live with us. Yes. But listen, we're here because we're just still having fun. Our weekend has not ended, right, Ellis? No. She's still in Orlando. Yes. Right? Yes. And Rich says she doesn't want to leave. I'm Girl, show me what you're working with. Show your shirt there. What you got on? Get your braids up. Look at there. My Ella Johnson. Yes. 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 <laughs> so I have come to Florida and I have absolutely felt in love. love right? Yes. Because, that, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but it was your first time flying. Yes. First time flying. First time being in Orlando. First time traveling by myself. And everything was excellent. People were just super nice. My guest has been awesome she has been more than like a mother a sister mm -hmm. everything well i am old you. enough to be your mama <laughs> <laughs> and miss it's thank true. you nurse sherry sherry also, yes Rosalind, uh, these ladies have treated me nothing but with the most respect and made me feel so comfortable and right at home yeah so that's why i have not come back to south carolina <laughs> oh yes so those of you in south carolina we might keep her Girl, can you imagine if you ended up staying in Orlando? Like, that would be kind of cool. I mean, we could get a lot of stuff that done. That would be cool. You know, I've gotten like a million inboxes like, come home. You're not staying. Oh, wow. They're You're calling for her to come home. Yeah. Not going to happen. Not today. Now, tell everybody. <laughs> hi, hi, Linda. Linda, hey, hey. How are you? Yes. Yes. Barbara, how are you, dear? Hey, Barbara. So good to see all of you guys. Listen, I just wanted to come on tonight. So you guys could meet the beautiful L.S. Wilson. I'm always talking about her. But she was one of my guests, one of the three guests uh, from Saturday on the Domestic Violence Awareness. Now, of course, you guys are going to have to wait for the show to see all of it. But I just wanted you guys to meet her because she is live and in the flesh here. And she's just such a wonderful person. Her story, your story is going to really move a lot of people to tears. You know that? Yes, I yeah. know. Especially, yeah. You think we ought to say a little? Yeah, let's give them a little something. something. Okay, well, so, <laughs> being here, we, um, me and my sister, we're working on a new project. It's going to be the life story of Ellis Wilson. So, you guys stay tuned for that. And this is a book that you will not want to put down. And we can't tell y'all the name of it. Name of it. Because you know some detail. trifling people might try to steal it. Yes. So we're not going to let that happen. <laughs> exactly. But it's going to be incredible, guys. Because there are, there are a lot of things that I know about her story. But because of my respect for her, we couldn't talk about it on the show. Because there's still a, a court hearing and trial and all that kind of stuff. Yes. We don't want anything to you know discredit her testimony. Because justice does need to be served. But exactly. you are coming back to the Ella Johnson oh, show. Oh, of course. Girl, of I'm course. getting the exclusive, baby. Oh, what? yeah, she's getting exclusive. And I'm yes. going to tell you this story is a story that will blow your mind. It, it We're literally going to blow you guys' mind. So just stay tuned and give me a little bit. And I have something in store for you guys. So another thing we wanted. We all know we aired the Ella Johnson show. And it's going to air on 24flix.net. Dot com. com. Yeah, 24flix.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, and yesterday, we gave away a set of the Torns, which is my friend's book. It's series one through four, which is an excellent read. So what we want to do for you guys, the first four people that go and subscribe to 24flix.com to see the show and can confirm with us that you did so, you will receive one of these books. 
And because if you're first, you get to pick which one you want. Yeah. So those of you that are watching this broadcast and you already have, say, one, two, and three, and you need four, go ahead and subscribe and you get first dibs. And you get first dibs. Yes, yes. So yes, go ahead over, subscribe to 24flicks.com. The first four people, you will receive this nice trilogy of books, and I promise you it's a must-read. You will not be disappointed. Yes. Guaranteed. The Ella Johnson Show. And if you know anybody that's facing domestic about domestic abuse. Is this your phone? It is. Don't worry about it. Business it's never stops. It never stops. Never stops. Okay. So if you know anybody that's a victim of abuse or a victim of, you know, neglect, um, gun violence, it is different places that you can go to get help. You can call um, the 1-800 hotline for domestic violence. You can reach out to myself or Miss Ella via Facebook, and we will also get you some more information and um, ways to try to handle that situation. Remember, no one situation is greater than the other, and there are people out here to support and help you through your rough times. Believe me, I know. Yeah. I found one. Yeah. Yes. It, it's actually 1-800-799-SAFE. That's the National yes, Domestic Violence safe. Hotline. So become friendly with that because there may be people watching this broadcast who have no idea what to do. Exactly. And you heard from Nurse Sherry. Well, you will hear from Nurse Sherry on the show. She's going to give you a lot of insight about what you can do and a path to get out. And she shared with us a lot about what people do when they come to the hospital. A lot of people try to make excuses. Right? Right. About, well, I failed, or this hit me, or that cap, you know, and it's, yeah, we, we're in, we have a lot of new information in front of us, guys. We have organizations out there. We have advanced a lot in this area, so we need to take advantage of it. If you're out there and you know that you are a victim, please make a plan. That was the theme of our show. Make a plan. Yeah. Make because it. women, we make, we make a plan for everything else we want. We make a plan to go shopping. We make a plan to date. Oh, you ought to see how we what we put into getting ready to go out to impress these men. Right. Right? So if we can do that. And put that know. plan in together to make sure that you're safe. Yeah. And we're not saying that that plan is going to work overnight. Sometimes you got to strategically work on this right. plan. Right. Whatever it is to keep you safe. Right. Whatever it is that you got to do to keep you safe, you have to do it day by day and plan to get out of there. Just make sure you have an effective plan. And it's a good support system. So once you leave, they know nothing about it. And you can get there and you can get away and you can get away safely. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Listen, um, what would you like to say? What was your takeaway from the show? What was your favorite part? My favorite part of the show is how we all came in. And Together. All, Isn't that something? That's the same thing I said. We all came <laughs> in and it was just so much love in the room. Yes. So much that room Nobody, was anointed. It had the spirit of God. Be. Yeah. Nobody judged. Yeah. And Rosalind, it, it surprised me because we were kind of living like the same lifestyle, and I was like, I'm shocked. Yeah, Rosalind, because our two victim, our two survivors uh, were Roz and and um, LS, and, and their stories were very similar, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it just blew my mind and how co cool everybody was. Nurse Sherry's awesome. <laughs> so it was just like. A bunch of empowered black women in there just living their truth and letting go of those shackles on their feet, baby. Come on, girl. You feel like preaching? Yes, I did. On a Monday? On a Monday. Girl, We took ahead. them shackles off our feet. Go Jeez. ahead, girl. No more chains holding us. So we can't do nothing but as black women is come together and stand firm with each other. Not walk behind each other, walk beside each other. Ooh. And that way we can build a solid foundation as black women. Okay? Yeah. I, I, you know, I think that for me, like I said yesterday, you know, having um, the show, it was a reason for all of us to come together. We all came here for that reason. I'm here because I've been called in to do the show, but the purpose was much greater right. than that. And I think that it's something that's going to last forever because what we did, you can't fake this. You can't fake it. Yeah. You can't. I mean, we've, we've actually been staying together for the last three days anyway. So, yeah, more than oh, we can folk now. Yeah, can folk now. We're <laughs> oh, like we can folk now. now. Yes. So, yeah, like, it's been just awesome. The no bad vibes. God was in the mix all the way. Like, we just had a ball. Nice cup. And I even look at my nice cup because LS has a podcast. 
Actually, we're doing her podcast next. Yes, my podcast next. Because we have another story to tell, guys. I wish you guys knew on that. But look at my cup. This was one of my gifts. She oh, came bearing gifts with to me. Oh, of course, because this is my baby. And actually, you guys can see the podcast. Um, go to Facebook. Go to Tea and Talk True Crimes Podcast. And I will go live from that page in just a few once we get through um, speaking with you guys. But yes, this podcast is kind of special to me to be about my best friend. She also lost her life to domestic violence and gun violence. And so we'll be speaking about that on this next episode. Well, on the next podcast. And she's actually with us tonight. Show them where she is. Oh, yeah. And she's actually with me tonight. I keep her in my locket at all times. These are her ashes. And she's my guardian angel, so she keeps me safe. And I wear this by my heart. Yeah. All the time. Yeah, that's my baby. Yeah. And her story was, um, it was something else, too. I, I don't know what they're doing over there in South Carolina. Hmm. But it's a it's something that demands attention. I mean, I really think that, and we're, we're going to be making some deals about going to South Carolina. The Ella Johnson show is going to have to get on the road. Because yeah. this topic needs to be addressed. Because it is getting out of hand in South Carolina. I mean, I thought that, you know, your situation was maybe isolated and this just doesn't happen. But we're going to actually talk about her best friend, Tiffany, who was, she was burned and beaten. And beaten. She was burned and beaten and just, and then he can't, he confessed, you know, and it's. Yes, it's, it's touch. It's every, I try to let them know every podcast that I started out with was a podcast that was near and dear to my heart. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I've lost so many people to gun violence and domestic violence. And does that weigh on you at all? I mean, what does it what does it take you when you have experienced so loss? Death. So much loss. I mean, your dad, your uncle, your best friend. Who else? And you're... I those... lost my cousin in a car wreck not long after I got out of the hospital and then your cousin and yeah it's just it, 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 i just felt like death was following me but yet god saved you yes he saved me yeah guys well, i'm gonna give you that we're gonna give them just one little tidbit because you guys are gonna have to subscribe to 24 flicks go to 24flicks.com right now and all you need to do is just inbox me a screenshot mm -hmm. that shows that you paid guys it's 3.99 i said four bucks Right. So I was wrong. It's three ninety nine to subscribe. Listen, and while you're waiting on the Ellen Johnson show, you're gonna get all kinds of movies. I mean, twenty four flicks. They have everything over there. So just yeah. enjoy it. And then in about a week, twenty uh, the Ellen Johnson show is gonna be there, and it's gonna be amazing. And it's, but yeah, you get we're gonna give you guys just a little tidbit, something that you're gonna get from the show, and then we wanna make sure you tune in that night that ls was shot and just basically left to die mm -hmm. that particular night um there were five total people that were assaulted in some way three people were shot mm -hmm. and two people were beat no, with, three people were beaten with hammers. three people beat with hammers and two people shot mm -hmm. and one of the people three people shot three people beat with hammers there was six it was six yeah okay well let me get it right three people beat with hammers Mm -hmm. And three people three shot, shot that night. That same night, same person. And you were number what? Were you like... I was number six. You were the last one. I was the last she one. She was the last one that he sought out. And one person out of those six passed away. Yes. And that situation that night has caused a friendship between all of you. Between pretty me much. and the other survivor. Yeah. Yes, me and the um, girls who who's deceased. Me and her family had already knew each other, but... Oh, it's nothing but love. Nothing but love. It's nothing but love. Tragedy brought you guys together. We're here so together. We, they, they've supported me in every venue that I've done. When they see me, it's it's all love. Yeah. It's all love. What was your favorite thing about Orlando? We're going to switch gears because mm. we're going to keep the momentum going. Oh, God. Everything. Friday night, we had a blast, Oh, right? my gosh. The bartender <laughs> was my favorite part of Orlando, okay? Woo. If you ever come to the Hyatt House across from Universal, look for that bartender, baby. He will get you together. Yeah, we had a good time we because it, it was time. like there were so many people here from different states. Of course, everyone is socially distanced and masked up here. It's mm -hmm. like crazy because in Orange County, it's still mandated to wear masks. So we were all at the at the pool, and I think everybody was so glad just to be out of the house, right? Because right? <laughs> it was like we just attracted a crowd. I know, right? It it's like, like everybody came over there, and we're just like, whoa. Right. And now you got all these people from all over the country, and we're all just having a good time together. And Let's see what, Liberia? 
She's from Kenya. 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 And then we met a Puerto Rican girl from the Keys. Keys. And then we and met the other the couple, the other Caucasian couple. The ca two Caucasian it's like two or three couples, you know. We right. kind of got the chance to see it, just a little bit of domestic violence that night, right? Almost just a little bit. Just a little yeah, bit. Just a little this bit. lady wanted to be with us and she forgot about her, that her she left her husband and her kid in the room. Yeah. And he <laughs> He's came. like, uh, hello? You don't yeah. get your butt up here to this? But we tell him you're right not going to do what you think you're going to do. Yeah. You're uh, not going to yeah, yeah. do no domestic because that's what we advocate for. But he, at the end of the night, it was great. Yeah, it was. It was, it was excellent. Great. I had, to, Orlando don't owe me nothing. I love her. Man. But then the next morning, somebody slept all day. I'm just saying. <laughs> Me. Slept all, all, when I say all day, she slept up until it was time to shoot the show. I, w I couldn't help it. Yeah. It was that bartender. I know. It was his fault. Yeah, and I'm like. Shame on him. I'm like this. The, the, the devil. He was the devil. <laughs> but listen, guys, we don't want to be on here too long. We just wanted to come. I wanted you guys to meet LS because we're getting ready to do her podcast and um, so we just wanted to go and say to you guys, listen, 24flicks.com. Go ahead and uh, subscribe. It's only $3.99. $3.99 to subscribe. And that's how much it costs each month. And you'll continue to get the Ella Johnson show. But right now, there's, you know, there's just one show. But we're going to get right back into the studio and start shooting more shows. So you guys look out because I may be reaching out to you for an interview. If you have a story you'd like to tell inbox me and let me know okay exactly but uh we're gonna get out and of here and don't forget the first four the inbox um can prove that they subscribe to the show get you one of the books one your choice the book, your choice one two or three or four one, and two, i promise you three, you will four. not be disappointed yes you yes will not i will personally autograph the book and send it out to you yes all right guys anything else you want to say before we go no i love florida <laughs> yes <laughs> That's about all. I love Florida and I love Ella. Uh -huh. And I love everybody that's been more than super nice to me. That's why I haven't been back yet. Yeah. People in South Carolina, she's safe. Mama, y'all go show mama this video. Mama, she's safe. I still got her. Yes. My word is my bond, baby girl. Yes. I told you, I got her. And I've been here and I know been from a ball. the moment we picked her up from the airport. We have just been tied together. Yes. Right? I found a new sister. Yes. I oh. show the love. <laughs> yes. So don't forget 24flicks.com. Shoot over. Subscribe. Send Ella the um inbox and let her know. And we'll get your copy and sent we'll get out your to copy you. Sent out to you. Alright guys, love you all so much. And good, good hello Valerie and all of you that are sending messages there, Nicole and all of you, thank you all so much, Sherry. Thank you for yes, tuning in. Okay, you. guys. And you guys, don't forget to go out and vote. It's early voting. Please Girl, get out there yes. and vote. Get that. Now, Please you know what? Go vote. That's a whole different conversation. What do you think? Well, you know what? That's that's a whole podcast. We're not gonna go there. Yeah. And I got to eat. <laughs> I got to eat. I'm sit. Listen, I'm sitting here. I'm distracted. I'm distracted because I, I got some pizza behind me. I ate first. Yeah, she ate. I'm trying I knew to be better. strong. I knew better. Knowing I'm hungry, so. But I didn't want to get on here with a full belly, you know. Right. So, but anyway, guys, thank you all so much for just clicking on and, and watching to see what we had to say. But we'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.